Hey guys, Malcolm here from Clearblade's mobile team, and today we're going to take a look at installing the Clearblade bundle. The Clearblade bundle is an Eclipse installation with the work light tools, Android tools, and Rational Team Concert. There are several ways to do this, but I'm going to show you my preferred method. I think it's the fastest and most stable combination of all three. First, I did want to point out one thing. In my previous videos, you'll notice that I was using the ADT bundle for Mac. The reason I picked this is because it came pre-configured with Android, so it saved me a step. But for Clearblade Bundle, we're going to install all these separately. So first, let's start with getting the Eclipse installation. And we're going to use Eclipse Indigo, Java EE Developers. So go ahead and install that for your given operating system. For me, I'm 64-bit. I'm going to choose this one. So it looks like our Eclipse installation is done downloading, so let's go ahead and open it. Okay, we don't need this anymore. As you know, Eclipse runs locally out of a folder, so no real installation instructions on how to get that set up. And you also notice I'm using Mac. It's the same exact process for Windows, so uh, don't feel left out if I don't mention Windows in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and launch Eclipse. We can go ahead and pick a workspace. Don't want them asking that again, so let me just click OK for that. All right, so we got Eclipse up and running. Let's go ahead and get the work light tools installed. And to do that, you just go help, install new software. So we click add so we can add the IBM Worklight repository. Just type IBM Worklight here. And I'll include this URL in the uh, description on the video so you don't have to type it out like me. So I think it's public.dhe.ibm.com IBM DL forward slash export pub software mobile solutions work light WDE update click OK All right, this is what we want. IBM Worklight Studio Development Tools. Click Next. You'll notice that it comes with Dojo and it comes with jQuery, so we're good to go. Accept, finish, and we'll just let this download. Okay, our download's done. Let's go ahead and restart now. And it should relaunch our Eclipse. So you will see that Worklight was successfully installed because you'll see this little Worklight node here where we can create a new Worklight project. So let's move on to the next step, which is installing the Android tools. So you don't want to get the bundle. You're going to go down here and download the SDK tools uh, for your operating system. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac tools. So our Android SDK is done downloading, so we don't need this window anymore. We have our Android SDK right here. Let's go ahead and unzip that. Don't need this. 
So the next thing we're going to do is install the Android Development Tools plugin. I'll include this URL in the description in the video, but you go, you're going to have to go out here and copy this URL here. And then go back into our Eclipse installation. And the same exact process, we're going to install new software, add a repository, and we'll call this ADT plugin. And we're going to paste that URL in there and OK. So we got the Android development tools here. We're going to click that one. You can install NDK if you want, but I'm just going to go with the Android development tools right here. Click next. Next again. Accept the license agreement. Finish. And just let that download. You might get the security warning. Just go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and restart Eclipse. So let's make sure we have the Android tools installed. We're going to go new, other, and we should see Android in there. There we go. So we can start a new Android project. So that lets us know our Android tools are up and running. So the last step that will conclude installing our ClearBlade bundle is installing Rational Team Concert. So in order to install Rational Team Concert, you have to go out to jazz.net and you will have to create a profile. Keep in mind that we're going to install 3.0.1.3 and not the latest version. So after you've created your jazz.net profile, just sign in and I'll include this link in the video description below. And you're just going to accept the license agreement and download this zip file. We'll let this download. Okay, now that RTC is done downloading, we're done with this. Let's go ahead and unzip RTC. We won't need this anymore. So we got everything. We got Eclipse, Android, and RTC. So let's go back into Eclipse. And let's go ahead and install RTC. Same process. I'm going to call this RTC. Except as far as the location is going to be local this time. We don't have to type in all the HTTP stuff. We're going to basically navigate to where we have the RTC repository unzipped to. Then you can click OK. Now we're going to basically extend an Eclipse installation, so make sure you choose that one. Hit next. Next. Finish. You get a warning, just hit OK. Now let's go ahead and restart Eclipse. Okay, so I think we pretty much got everything covered. Um, you'll notice that RTC is downloaded and working properly because I just right click and now I can import a project from the Jazz Source Control. So we do know that it's working. Also, we can come here and add our perspective, which is work items. And you'll notice here we can go here and accept the team invitation create a project area, and all those version control things you can do with RTC. One last thing though, go to Preferences in Android. Oh, it looks like it already found our Android installation, so we don't have to configure that. So, we're done. We have installed the ClearBlade bundle, Eclipse with the Worklight plugin, the Android development tools, and Rational Team Concert.